Well, we caught another false prophet in lies once again. I monitored them and I caught Mr. Troy Black in one of his lies once again. And why do I say that? Because he just released a video talking about this banjo player that his name, the banjo player's name is Terry Balcom. He supposedly prophesied back on November the 9th or something, something about a banjo player lying. Listen to this real quick. Oh, is it being fulfilled accurately? If not, we need to take that back to the scripture. We need to uh, run that prophecy by scripture and make sure it's aligning. We need to run some more tests on it because people can't make this stuff up and be right. They can't be accurate, at least not, not very often. I shared this video on November 9th. You can go verify on my channel that I shared this, that I said it, that it was posted that day. This is the title of the video. God showed me he's about to pass away a warning prophecy. A warning prophecy. This was on November 9th. That link is below the is in the description. It spoke to me. I shared this word. I saw a vision of a banjo play, or a banjo and really insane uh, sheet music. Yeah, there's like music that was written out, but it looked very complicated, something I couldn't play, right? And I saw this picture of a banjo. And then I heard the Lord say this. He said, a bluegrass legend is about to pass on into eternity. And then I, I heard strange passing, but he knows where he is going. And then I heard heaven is his home. As you can see right there, he's he's all he's more so talking about he's happy because supposedly he predicted that somebody or prophesied or got a word of knowledge or whatever you want to call it from these people that they continue to use that this guy was going to die. And the guy died of Louis body dementia. I looked that up. And Louis body dementia, I guess it says the lifespan of that, of the death is happens, I believe, five to seven years or something like that. How ironic. You ever notice that? See, I told you, you got to monitor these people. Now, go back to when the queen died. He predict, claimed that he, that the Lord showed him that the queen was basically going to die and all of that. The queen was sick. The queen was elderly. And... You know, that would be just like saying I made a video. If I made a video that said I, the Lord told me that Jimmy Carter, President Jimmy Carter is going to die. He's sick. He's 99 years old. So I don't see. See, this is where these people don't do their diligence. They don't. They should be searching the scriptures. They should be doing their homework. See, I'm a news junkie. I love searching the news. I love verifying things and I'm going to search and stuff and I'm going to verify. I want to find out certain things all the time. Me and my wife, we're like that. We like to research and these folks, they will pull a fast one and get it right by you for those that sat back and listened to him. So he's talking about this banjo player, Terry Balcom and how he's went on to glory and all of this stuff. He don't know what the guy went on to. He has no clue. But yet he's set up here bragging about one of his prophecies supposedly has come to pass. And I was just thinking like, you know, what is this banjo player guy? No, nobody even know who the guy, unless you're deep in the bluegrass and all of that. Like he's saying later on the video, well, you might not know him, but somehow he's connected to Ricky Skaggs and all of this stuff. But no one knows who Terry Balcom, this Terry Balcom guy is. And that, and then what, what, what does that have to do with, you know, I, with, with me, you know, us as Christians, as far as edifying our lives and, and, and with somebody that we don't even know, he ain't even, most people ain't even heard of and, and this. And this is the kind of things that these people do. I call them fortune tellers. I call them whatever, uh, 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 back in the day, Cleo, uh, the lady that was, uh, uh, that came on late night. She was a psychic of sorts. That's all these people are. They set up there. They make these so-called predictions of stuff and they think they're slick because what they're doing is a lot of times they're going, they're searching the news, looking for stuff and banking on you not verifying it and checking it. That's all they're doing. So they'll go through and look at stuff, uh, and look at these various things that's going on around the world, going on with somebody. Yeah, the guy, if he's had dementia and things like that, and he's sick, 
like that is any moment. I've known plenty of people that have died over the years over with dementia. Dementia, depending on where stage you're at, you're going, it's going to take you out, unfortunately. Just like a lot of things. And if somebody is elderly, the chances are you're going to, you, you got less, lear, less years ahead of you than you do, you know, uh, going forward. So if you cross, I, I made a joke with my, um, there was a coworker with me that you, that retired and he, he didn't think it was funny, but uh, we were, it was funny though. It was funny, but he thought it was funny, but he said that's messed up. Cause we, we were saying, I said, well, Fred, his name is Fred. I said, Fred, you're, you're past 75. I said, you know, the, you know, the lifespan is, you know, you, you know, now you're on borrowed time and stuff. And, uh, and, and that's what it really, you know, is funny, but it's not funny. I mean, fortunately some get to live longer lives and, and then, you know, we still have a lifespan, the average lifespan. And unfortunately some people's going to go, but the older you get, so when you start making prophecies, uh, somebody that's in their 80s, you know, start talking about someone 80s, 90s, oh, somebody's going to die. Or right, something told me about this person. This is what's going to happen. Yeah, there's a chance it can happen. There's a chance they can get sick. There's chances for all of it. But these folks are liars and frauds, and they give you these so-called prophecies that's supposed to, what, what is this supposed to do for you spiritually? You know, just like Amanda Grace is, well, I'm not done. I told you, we're going to focus on these two uh, for a little bit, Troy Black and Amanda Grace, why they're talking about, you know, currencies around the world and all of these other little things that has nothing to do with the body of Christ. And uh, uh, as far as, you know, could you imagine going into a Bible study and walking in with one of these folks? I'll sit there and take my Bible and walk right out. You know, it's nothing like, go have you ever, I've been to, have you I've been to some, over the years of some shady Bible studies where somebody you know haven't studied and they and they they haven't done due diligence and haven't really studied and you're sitting there like they shouldn't be up here teaching, you know. And it happens with whether professors and teachers and that. Have you ever if you ever experienced that? Let me know. Put it in the comments if you've ever came across a Bible teacher. Uh, went to a study of some sort of somebody that shouldn't be teaching. And there's a lot of times I've been to churches, I'm sure some of you too, somebody that shouldn't be preaching and that. So can you imagine that these types of people, these Troy Blacks and Amanda Graces and all of these other types, that all of them, the, their buddies, all of them, they standing up there and they're teaching and trying to teach and they come out, start talking this silly kind of stuff. Oh, I mean, but it was a shame is there's people that go to this type of stuff that listen to these, uh, you know, wing nuts or whatever you want to call them. Donna Rigney's and going to these events and uh, uh, Liberty Turnip See, I don't know what her name is now, uh, uh, whatever, but Spirit Move Ministries and stuff and going to these events and, and, and sitting there and these conferences and people sitting there. Hallelujah. Amen. And all of this stuff setting under deception totally deceived, sitting under a, I don't know, these folks is bringing so much confusion to the body of Christ, so much shame to the body of Christ. But you know what? The Lord sees every bit of their actions. And for every day that they continue to go forward and don't repent, it's going to get worse for them. Because I've told you before, the judgment is upon these people. They don't realize it. They don't even realize what is coming their way. It, it's not going to be pretty. They better repent. You better repent if you keep watching them and standing by them, donating money to them, sowing into a seed. I don't have a problem sowing into a seed of a ministry or somebody that's doing a work truly for the Lord. But a lot of these people... They're not doing a work. They're doing a work for them. You're building them up. You're building, propping them up for their false ministry. So you're sowing basically into a, 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 a demonic, a, a demonic, it's a demonic seed you're sowing into. And it's spreading like wildfire throughout the nation, throughout the social media. But we'll continue to shine the spotlight on it. We'll continue to call it out. 
Evangelism for God is the channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. If you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, coming along for the journey, because we talk about these issues the church went away from, and we take the devil head on and punch him right in between the chops. So until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.